On last night, how pleased were you to see Justin Kluivert get his first goal for the club? Yeah, really happy for him. Really happy because he has been uh, trying a lot, pushing. It's a position where there is a lot of competition. They know that they have to take every chance they have because otherwise another player, another teammate will come and will get them the minute. So it's important for them to have good performances, uh, to score his first goal. I think he uh, he wanted after two, three games where he didn't, he wasn't part of the team. He wanted to 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 help us, and I think he did he did well. Yeah. What, what do you want to see more from him moving forward to push himself to get established in that team? Uh, not for him, from everyone. I always say, you know, the most important thing when when you are part of the team is try to perform well, but not think only in the in your part. Think collectively. Okay, I'm playing, and the team is doing well. It's uh, winning games. Who is creating chances, so probably I'm doing something well for the team, no? and it's something that all the players have to have to think, and I think it's something that happened yesterday, not only with Justin, with uh, all the players that that, uh, that played yesterday. Yeah. Now, it was last week that we were sat here, we were talking about the pressure was mounting going into the game against Burnley. Do you feel a little bit more relaxed this week considering you got the first Premier League three points of the season? I think uh, obviously uh, Burnley's game was a must win for us but especially we've played well two games at home I think with the performances both games I think have been have been good we've won one we've lost the past night's game but we were really close to, to beating Liverpool and I think it's a it's a part of Building in some confidence also, no, because I think after the the hard work that uh, the players uh, have been putting, we needed some some results, but we we still have to keep pushing. And Manchester City on Saturday afternoon, does it get any tougher in football than a trip to the Etihad? Yes, probably is one of the toughest places to 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 play. No, I think it's a game also where you have to be mentally very 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 solid you know because sometimes you're gonna try to recover you're not gonna be able to arrive on time and you have to go again and go again and sometimes you have to spend a lot of time without the ball and you have to be ready for this i think it's also a week strange for them probably because normally they are used to the opposite they normally play midweek and probably the the opposition is resting and preparing for their game and now i think it's one of the few weeks in seasons, I would say, where they are waiting at home and watching probably past night's game against Liverpool and, and getting ready and probably more, more rested than opposition. And going up against Pep Guardiola, has he sub been someone that you've be like been around in the past? I've, I've, I've played a lot of times against his you teams. Did, didn't you? Yes, a lot of times. Uh, yes, yes, very tough games, obviously. His, his Barca team was was amazing in that moment. He had amazing years. They they won us some finals. Uh, yeah, tough tough games, tough games usually against him. Yes. Yeah. What is it about Pep Guardiola though that makes him you know so special, so good? Yeah, uh, we are talking about probably the most successful manager in history. <laughs> I don't know. It's uh, it's just uh, he. He, he makes his teams play a certain way that we always uh, analyze. Uh, every coach tries to minimize what they are trying to do, but he has a lot of options. They can, with the same concepts, they can move the teams, the positioning in there in different ways. So it's, sometimes you have to choose no, the, the, the poison. It's not always a, you cannot take a good option. It's one go bad, another one very bad, another one maybe, another one. So you have to choose uh, how you want to die a lot of times now. And it's very difficult to play against his teams. Well, I appreciate it. Good luck on the okay, weekend. Thank you. Hi, Andy. Um, you mentioned he won a lot of finals, his Barca team. I know you said you had a brilliant playing career, maybe your only regret was not winning yep. a cup. 2009 Copa del Rey, 2009 Spanish Cup, 2012 Copa del Rey final, all teams managed by 
head. Is it yeah. revenge for you? <laughs> no, I think it's uh, when you lose a final, you you lose it and you have no chance for revenge. No, I think uh, not against us. I think against everyone. There were some some seasons that they were, I wouldn't say unbeatable, but the same way that he has done here with Manchester City, he was the doing there with with uh, Barcelona and it's uh, always tough to play against his teams yeah because they are very very good players coached in a in a perfect way so it's uh, it's it's tough to 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 prepare the games but we have to try the same way we did yesterday try to maximize our options you know it's try to level it as much as we can and uh, that's what we have in our in our minds Bournemouth have never beaten Manchester City. How much are you energised by making history? Yes, it's very tough, you know, to to beat because the the seasons where Bournemouth was playing in the the Premier probably they already had a very very good team, so for sure they were tough games. Uh, we have to think in ourselves, give our hundred percent, try to recover, uh, try to prepare mentally to. To having uh, moments where you are going to suffer, you are going to be be pressed, uh, and we have to pass those moments because I also think we have the the offensive threats, you know, to make them also think that we can we can damage them. You say you're not comfortable when your team's in a low block. So can you be bold and brave there this weekend? <laughs> Sometimes you cannot, uh, you cannot uh, choose, no? Sometimes you think, no, we are going to press high and then pff, you go, they, they, they get through your press and you have to stay lower. But I think uh, we'll be for sure in a low block for, for some minutes because almost all the teams are against City. But we have to try also to make them think that uh, they have to defend, they have to run backwards. They have to to be aware, aware of, uh, of our offensive players, and uh, this is very important because otherwise it just becomes a, a game of one direction. Everyone is pushing forward, and I think we have to find the moment to to make them think. Okay, let's be uh, careful here because otherwise we're going to suffer. You mentioned your attacking threats. Alex Scott got his first assist last night. I remember him having a brilliant game against Manchester City for Bristol City last season. Does he and his set-piece delivery, his quality, give you a real weapon now? Yes, I think we have been much, much better. Past two two games in set-pieces, offensive set-pieces. We scored yesterday, but the other game against Barley, we had some good chances. And he has been a huge part. I think he he... He has performed really well. We have to see how he recovers because he played all the game against Varley. Yesterday he played a lot of minutes also, so we have to see how he he's feeling before we make the 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 choosing for the starting eleven. Yeah. Thank you. Good Thank luck. you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I just want to ask you a little bit about Nathan Aki, a player who's very very popular with Bournemouth supporters. Just give us your opinion on how he's done since he joined Manchester City. Obviously, won the Champions League. I think he's done really, really well. No, I think he he has been a, a huge part of a wonderful season. Past season, he has established himself. I don't know if a starter because they have four or five defenders that go rotating, but they play a lot of minutes. And he's an amazing defender. He's part of a team that he is playing really, really well. And uh, is is also a, a good example, no, for players for sure that he has been successful here in Bournemouth, and then he has gone to probably top level, and and he has also done done very well. And just one more on Haaland, at second season now. If he doesn't score for one or two games, everybody's saying that he's never going to score again, and then he comes back and uh, scores five games on the trot. Just just tell us a little bit about how impressed you've been with him. No, I cannot uh, talk a lot about him. No, the numbers speak by themselves. No, it's not. Uh, you say one or two games he doesn't score, something strange happens. Is that normally he scores? Is the, the the normal basis is that he scores goals, and uh, it's very difficult to stop because okay, even if you know what he's going to do or they are going to try to do, they are very good doing this. Very powerful. He's involved also in 
in in part of the offense, but obviously he's much more dangerous in, inside the box. And with all the uh, offensive game they produce, all the chances they create, to have someone with his conditions also, with the aerial threat, I think it he makes the team much more complete now.